Hi everybody, uh, my name is Alessandra Ziviani and today we're going to be learning how to um, put age makeup on ourselves um, for, this, for the stage. So um, age makeup can be a little bit overwhelming or um, scary to do, um, but I'm gonna try to break it down so it's not so um, overwhelming when you're doing your um, age makeup for shows. Um, I'm gonna be using cream makeup today um, just because if you were gonna do this for the stage, you would wanna make sure that you're using um, a cream makeup that won't sweat off of your face while you're under the hot lights, um, especially because we're gonna be doing so many fine lines um, and detail work on our face. Um, and so that when we set it at the end, uh, it'll stay and it won't um, run off if your face sweats under the lights, your um, forehead or anything like that. So what I'm gonna start first, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face. I'm just using a basic um, primer uh, that I got from CVS, it's CoverGirl. Um, it's just good to do because it's gonna keep all of the makeup stuck to your face um, and just kinda keep it all in place for you. So you always wanna prime your face. I already moisturized my face, um, which is just good because the makeup can be drying um, and if you're performing uh, multiple shows a day or um, even you know multiple shows a week like we all do, uh, it can be really harsh on your face. So what I'm gonna do, I just have a little sponge. I got it a little bit damp. You don't need it too damp because we are using a cream makeup so it's already, I just got it to lubricate it a little bit. So I'm just using, um, this is Ben Nye which is kind of a staple um, for stage makeup. It's Ben Nye the Cream Foundation P5 Old Age. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I kind of just, I wanna do that so you can get to see the real definition when I do the wrinkles. So I might normally go a little lighter, but for today's demonstration, I wanna make sure y'all can see it. So I'm just gonna apply my foundation, and you know, I'm just kind of dabbing it on, and I'm gonna do just like you would normally do. Um, I get under my eyes, I'm gonna get all up into my hairline, into my ears, and then blend down to my neck because that, that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. And we're gonna be aging our neck a little bit in, uh, later on in this video, um, because if you have a costume that you can see your neckline, it's um, really obvious if you haven't aged also your neck, uh, you have an old face, but a young, a young um, supple neck, it's a dead giveaway that you're not really old got some sponge on me hold on there we go so I'm just gonna do kind of a real good coverage on my face like that Get all up into there blending down go further here. and so <clears throat> what we're gonna be doing next I'm just getting this base coverage on but we're gonna come in with two other um, sponges. And it's really important when you're doing age makeup because we are gonna be doing um, such a contrast with light and dark, sponge on me, um, with a light and dark, that you want to make sure that you're using different sponges for the different um, colors that you're gonna be using. You're gonna be not, uh, using a highlight and a shadow. So when the sponges, when we're, we're gonna contour next, um, and then we're gonna come in and paint wrinkles. Um, you want to make sure that you have two different brushes. Um, I use a, like a small angled brush um, because what we're going to be trying to get is a really hard line and, a, and then a, and we're going to be blending out, making a soft edge of our face. So now that I have this base on, what I'm going to do, go, do next is I'm going to take a shadow, um, darker, this is the Character Brown CS3 from Ben Nye. And I'm just going to kind of go in and I'm going to contour and I'm going to just come into my cheek line and you can find that by if you touch your bone on your cheek and you kind of just roll it down it's the hollow where your finger goes and so I'm not going to go all the way down I'm just going to do kind of like this little half and I'm also going to bring it down just a little bit because as we age what happens I'm creating I'm trying to create the illusion of hollow unhollowed outness of my face which unfortunately is what happens when we get older so here we go I'm going to do my jawline like this and we're going to blend this more so it might look kind of crazy right now but it will, she'll all get blended. 
We're also going to make the impression of jowl lines. So I'm going to just pop in here just a little, almost like triangle shape right kind of off of my mouth crease here. So a little triangle shape here, a little triangle shape here. And you can kind of see the indentation naturally. We're going to be making a lot of faces in this video because we got to get all, we got to see all the places where we're going to have wrinkles when we're old. Yay. I'm also going to do a little darkening under my eye because I'm going to sink my eye a little bit. I'm also going to do this to outside of my nose and we'll do some more detail work with um, noses when we get um, using the brushes. And then what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to kind of do this half circle around my crown and we're going to blend that in. And then I'm going to do my temple over here, temple. And we're just going to kind of blend that down, blend that up, just like that. And we can come back in and fix things. Um, the great thing about using cream makeup is that you can, if you make a mistake, you can blend it away. It's great. So now I'm going to come in with my highlight. It's a little wet, but here we go. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to kind of highlight above that contour I just put there. I'm going to put a little highlight up here. And we're just making the impression of where, you know, our heads will jut out versus where they're going to sink in. I'm going to pop some highlight on my cheek, cheekbone. Pop some on my nose. Pop some on my chin. Oh, I forgot. I got to put a little, I'm going to go back and put a little bit of dark contour right here. Blend that in, and you can use your fingers too. You don't. I'm using a sponge. I'm trying to be sanitary, but you can definitely, if you're, you know, you're using your own makeup, uh, you can definitely get in there with your fingers. It's good. Okay. All right. Just kind of adding a little bit of detail. Just kind of blending it up. Okay. So now we have our basic contour of our face, the highlights and shadows. I'm also going to do this. Oh, my jawline. Um, and now we're going to go grab our angled brushes. And we're going to be using the same um, highlight and shadow uh, cream base that we have been using. Um, you can do this with a water-based uh, makeup. It's a little more difficult, and it has the potential to smear and run off your face. So that's why we're using, again, cream. So it might sound a little bit counterintuitive, but the way that highlight and shadow falls in your face is interesting. So when I look at my wrinkle right here when I smile, um, you would think that the shadow would go here underneath, but it doesn't. It falls right here on the top of my um, cheek pad. So what we're gonna attempt, what we're gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna take my angled brush, small little brush, and I this is a cheapy. I like to use. Um, stuff from the, from, you know, CVS, Walmart, Target, when, um, when I'm doing a uh, stage makeup, because it can get really expensive. These, you should in, definitely invest in, um, good actual, like, stage makeup, but in terms of brushes and rouge and stuff like that, it's okay to use stuff from, uh, that is less expensive. There's some really good products out there. So I'm just getting some of this, uh, shadow on my brush and, we're going to try to, we're going to be coming in at a 45 degree angle because we want to make sure that we're going to make this hard line here on my face and then we're going to blend it up. So as we saw where the shadow line naturally falls on your face. So this is called your nasal labial fold and that's where I'm going to pop it in right now. So here we go. But that's okay because we're going to blend it. So here, I'm just going to get a little bit of this off my brush and I'm going to kind of soften this edge right now. So I'm just pulling upwards, pulling up, we're going to wipe that away, it's a little too much. But you can see how much that's enhanced that line already, that shadow on my face. So. Pop it in again here, and I'm gonna extend it down. And I'm making—I'm gonna make my grandma kind of a smiley grandma. 
So if you see, you can extend it actually out to here because you will have these lines. If you smile a lot, you can have the frown lines if you're grumpy. We don't want that. No grumpy, no grumpy grandmas. So here we go, pulling it up, soft edge. And again, a lot of this is going to look very strange until the end uh, because we are painting crazy lines on our face. Um, but we're all going to, it's all going to get blended. It's all going to look awesome. So now I'm going to go down to here, this, this little um, line, and then I'm going to go here. So again, for shadows, shadow, you can remember it as the dark blends up. If you're looking at horizontal on your face and if you're going from the center line out, the shadow goes this way and shadow goes up and then the, we're going to pop the highlight underneath it. Okay. So I'm going to blend up. mistake. I'm going to try to get a darker edge here. Harder edge. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want, you can also, um, if this is hard for you at home, because it does take some practice, what you can do is you can have your brush that has, that you make your hard edge with, and then you can take a second brush but again, keep it between the, sh you know, you'd have two more brushes because you're trying to keep your highlight and shadow away. And then you can come in with a secondary brush that doesn't have so much product on it and come in and do your soft edges like that. Okay, so now I'm going to come under my eye. I already see my bags. An easy track to follow. So here we go. Come in. Like that. Now I could keep it with this one, but I'm going to do an advanced old age. So I'm going to actually go to the secondary bag. Double, double your pleasure, double your fun. Here we go. So great. Look at all these wrinkles. <laughs> and so now I'm going to, again, I'm blending up because the shadow line moves up. And it's, as I'm doing that, it's also resyncing in my eye. So here we go. I have a dark a large edge here, blending it up, extend that out a little bit. Okay, crow's feet. So if you don't have a lot of these or if they're really kind of pushed in together, kind of like mine are a little small, um, what you can do is you can draw yours on as if you, they were there. Um, and when you do that though, make sure that there's enough space in between the lines because this can get a little fuzzy, especially from um, in the audience. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually follow my crease line of my eyelid and I'm gonna bring this one out like this. That's my first one. And then I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one here. I don't really have one there, but I'm going to put one in just like that. And I'm going to do a little one right here. I don't really have that one either. Thank God. Here we go. Okay. And again, I'm just, so I can show you guys, I'm just going to do the soft edge blended up, blend up, blend up. Right here, this 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 fun furrow, this furrow brow, which mine is big. That's from squinting, not having the correct glass glasses prescription and squinting at the chalkboard. All right, so here now remember from the midline we're gonna blend out this way. So hold on a second, let me fix that. So I'm going to blender, blender out this way, soft edge, down, soft 
stitch. And again, I know this probably looks real like, oh my gosh, she just got lines on her face. Um, when we set, we're going to blend more, we're going to set with powder, and the powder is going to actually um, kind of just soften the effect throughout our face. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do some of my eyebrow lines. I'm not, again, I'm not going to do as many as I actually have. Thank God. But I'm going to do it so that um, it will be able to be seen and not muddy from far away. So I think I'm going to, and I'm just furrowing my brows so that I can find it to follow. So I'm going to do this big one in the middle of my forehead. I'm just going to follow this line. Okay. That. And I'm not going to blend yet. I'm just going to get my lines in first. I think I'm going to pop one in here. And I, I, I like to have a few that go across my forehead all the way, but I also have like a few that are not joined because I think it looks more interesting. Um, but that's just me. So I'm coming in again here and I'm going to pop one under over my Need a little more shadow. Pop one in here. Okay. And if you guys don't have this type of cream makeup uh, at home, you definitely can try this with um, powder, just a, a dark powder and a dark um, or a, a highlight powder. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to wet your brush though and you're going to have to continue to wet your brush into the powder and that like you would put powder on your eyelid is the same kind of thing. You're just making a line um, with the powder getting it a little bit damp and then uh, apply, uh, um, applying it to your skin. So as you can see I'm now I'm doing my soft edge here on all of my stuff and you can really see that was a good one. You can really see the hard edge um, on that on that furrow right there and now blend in this guy and again it does seem counterintuitive but we're blending we're blending up with the with the shadow As So I'm going to go do my other side of my face right now. So here we go. Let's start with my apples. And that's okay, this little kind of mess up right there, that's okay, because it's gonna just, it's, it's gonna sink in my eye anyway, so I'm just gonna fix that right there. And here we go, nasal labial fold. I'm going to turn it because I'm a smiley grandma.
and I'm just kind of sharpening some of these and I am going to go back and sharpen later after I got to put all the highlight on now. So this takes a, a while and I'm actually going to, um, what I'm going to do, your nose gets <laughs> bigger as you get older. Another wonderful thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline here. I'm going to draw this actual kind of line on my nose. And I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to blend a little bit my finger. Uh -huh. And then actually I'm going to pop in a couple wrinkles here because that happens too. And blend it up a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Dark. I'm just going to make this more dramatic here. Sharpening it up. Oops. Okay, so now, shadow's done, time for highlight. Um, and you guys are really gonna see um, how, this starts to, how this starts to work together now. So, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna butt up this edge, this is my highlight, it is um, Ultra Light Cream Highlight CH-0 for Ben Nye. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and real carefully, I'm gonna try to get right up against that dark, the darkest part of that edge. I can't really talk while I do this, it's weird. Here we go, okay. And now I'm softening it out here. So now we can see how much contrast is in that. underneath the shadow, pull it out, underneath the shadow, underneath the shadow. underneath the shadow. I'm gonna get a different little brush right here because this is delicate in here. And I'm just gonna blend her down. under the shadow. And you know, what we used to do is we used to practice making our light and um, dark lines on the back of our palm. So if you want to, if you ever want to practice to see if you can actually get the hard line, you can just, you know, you practice on your palm that your hard line and your blend down like that. And it's fun if you're afraid, because it can be, like I said, it can be kind of intimidating. I'm messing up a little bit too, but that's okay. She's going to be good, fine by the end. Here we go. Put a little bit in there. 
go underneath the shadow. underneath the shadow. my nostrils because I made my nose wider a little bit here I'm actually kind of lost these up here, so I'm just going to come back in here. Do that. Come back in with my shadow. That. And because I'm just going to fix some edges here so they really pop, so I can just drop in a little darker so you can really see the definition. Okay, so and I'm just continuing to um, come in and just kind of pop uh, some of the areas of my face uh, so that they really kind of stand out. So now that almost all the highlight and shadow is done, I'm just coming back in and just cleaning up that hard edge, making sure it's real defined, right? But it, but it up against the light edge. Just like that and you know you could like I said down a rabbit hole you you can get you can do this you can get real into it and go for a while <laughs> I'm just gonna clean up though now and I know that it probably is still looking pretty much pretty like very very much like lines we are seeing the definition 
some of the high, some of the shadow. But again, this is for pretty far away um, on audience wise. I'm really kind of pumping it up so you guys can see um, the technique and. Um, you know, also it's going to um, smooth out when we set our face with powder, which we're going to do shortly. So now I'm pretty much done with my highlight and shadow. Um, I am going to do a few extra little things right here on my lip. You see how we make that pucker face. I'm going to add, and this is, you can do all types of um, age makeup. You can go from middle age to you know 65 to you know old age. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a little more advanced old age. So again, you'll have these pucker, these kiss lips. Um, I'm just going to try to follow mine. And again, if you don't have them, lucky you, you can always put them in where you think they would be. Blend, again, shadow when it's coming from the center of your face, we're blending out towards our ears. And I'm also just going to put a little bit of definition here in my little Cupid's bow here. And then I'm going to come back in with the highlight, pop those. And I'm going to highlight my Cupid's bow too here. nose. Soften this up a little bit. It's a little too much. Okay. So this is a good little extra thing you can do to really give that illusion of advan a more advanced old age. Um, before we set our face, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the neck. I said I was going to do the neck. So again, your neck, if you have a costume that shows your neckline, it's really obvious if you've done all this to your face and your neck is very like smooth. So again, we're just going to go back in like we did with our face. We're going to contour and this is kind of like the sunken in spot and here. So I'm going to sink in here, uh, right by my vocal box and then right underneath my chin, right in this area. So I'm gonna just pop some shadow here and right here. Again, this is to have that sunken in look that happens as we advance in our years. There we go. And gonna then just come right behind it with the highlight. And just kind of touching up the places that I didn't touch up with the sh with the shadow, um, like that, like so. Now I've got some shading, and just like my face, I'm gonna go in with my um, shadow brush, and I'm just gonna trace the lines that I already have naturally in my neck unfortunately. And like that. And maybe, look, maybe just a little bit over here. Again, I like to kind of break up the, break up the line. I think it looks a little more natural. Um, um, but you know, you do it. You guys can do it. You can experiment with it. 
Coming back in with highlight, again, going when it's horizontal across your face, we're popping the highlight underneath the shadow. I know I keep saying that, but it's super, when you're doing it, it's very counterintuitive. And so the more you just say it out loud, highlight under shadow, highlight to your ears. So, help you remember. Blend her down. And I'm gonna come back in and soft blend some of that shadow now. I have some blended highlight. That. I'm just going to blend up this a little bit so I have a softer edge. Again, cream is great because if you make a little bit of a mistake or a, you know, your, your hand moves the wrong way, it's you can just smudge it with your finger. It is delicate work, um, but the cream is pretty forgiving. So one last thing I'm gonna do because my just because you're a grandma doesn't mean you don't put your makeup on. So I'm gonna put some blush on my grandma face, and I'm just using a, this is kind of a mixed Ben Nye palette, and I'm gonna be using this darker one for me. I might mix a little of that lighter one into it, but I'm gonna start with this. Um, it's a dust. It's called Dusty Rose Rouge, and I'm just gonna pop it in here. Mm, cute, get my cute little apple, apple cheeks. And I'm gonna blend her up, blend her down into my hollow contour line. Like that. Up, like this. Give grandma some color. She's happy, she's retired. And you see how, and this is also why I like um, turning the nasal the nasal labial fold upwards a little bit because it just gives when you put the blush in it gives this cute little um, illusion of like very happy um, you know a lady who smiled a lot in her life I'm gonna pop just a little rouge on the top of my face give me some color and I can also I'm also gonna do it down here just a little bit kind of and uh, I always do that too we'll finish with powder and I kind of go over uh, some of the things uh, with powder at the end because it kind of just adds a little number. Okay, so this is basically the look that you have with your cream. We're good to go now. Um, yeah, I might, I'm actually just gonna put a little more highlight on my cheek or my jawline right here. Pop it a little bit and right by my, my jowl line as well. So it really kind of pops the jowl mm-hmm jowls okay great so now we are close to being finished I am going to get um, some of my translucent setting power powder this is Ben Nye trans translucent face powder and I'm just gonna put a healthy amount onto a back of a makeup container and I'm gonna load up my brush and I'm really gonna apply it like crazy to my face because I really want it to set, I don't want it to move, and um, I also want to uh, soften out some of this stuff as well. So, I'm doing my neck. I'm gonna set the neck too. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back in actually. Um, now that I've set with powder, I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna do a little something to my eyes. First, I'm just gonna take some dark uh, 
just dark eyeshadow powder and I'm just gonna kind of follow trace my eye I'm not gonna give her a, you know a huge like wing of an eye but I am gonna define my eye a little bit here because again we're still you know we're in stage we still want people to see our eyes so we're just gonna do a little little number like that here on top so we can see and now if you want to get, um, you, it's really fun because you can get as creative as you want. Um, I'm going to pop in a little bit of, like a little bit of a red under my eye just because, you know, sometimes as you get older, it's, you know, it's, it's, you're tired and, you know, you get a little redness to your eye and it's just kind of like a little bit of a, and it kind of just adds a little bit of that. Kind of watery. You see how it kind of makes me look like, oh, I've got allergies. <laughs> there we go. Great. Uh, and then, like I said again, uh, if you want to come in over the set, the powder set with a powder blush, just to kind of pop it. You know, you've got the base, but now you can just kind of enhance it just a bit up in here, down in here on your nose and the same thing is true if you feel like um, at any time your uh, highlight or um, uh, contour uh, shadow is looking a little weak you can always come in with powder this is a uh, uh, Maron uh, powder another great company and you can just kind of like pop it in there a little bit it'll kind of you know and this is great to do, um, let's say, uh, intermission time. Um, if you feel like you've lost a little bit of your um, makeup and the general like wear and tear of under the lights. So just doing a little bit of, of that. And then if you want to get if you want to get kind of crazy, we can also do um, lips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take again the powder, the foundation that I was using before, kind of pucker my lips up like that because it, it's it's enhancing my natural wrinkles in my mouth, and then I'm just going to set it with some powder, and then you've got you know some little wrinkles, and again you can put. You can put a little rouge on that too, if you want your grandma to have a little, little bit of lipstick on. She's at brunch. There she is. There we have it. We could also do something to our eyebrows if we wanted to. Um, you could just go back in with um, your white cream, and you could just, you know, add some whitening to your eyebrow, just like that. And I'm just kind of mashing the cream. So there's all types of products that you can use for your eyebrow, but I find if we're already using the cream, it's 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 just kind of easier, and it's also pretty easy to wipe out too. So I'm just gonna go in here with the cream that I use to highlight my face, and I'm just kind of just mushing it all around in my eyebrow to give myself that kind of silvery, silvery-haired look. There we go, just like that. Alright, so this is basically the look. Um, I'm just going to finish it off by putting on a little wig. I'm not putting it on the correct way. Uh, maybe in a couple weeks we can do a pin curl and wig application uh, makeup Monday. But for right now, I'm just going to give my sweet little grandma her hair so she can go out, go to brunch, get herself a scotch and water and some eggs benedict and be all happy. Well, <laughs> that's it from Grandma Gladys. Uh, again, my name is Alessandra Ziviani. I uh, will see you next week when we do our next Makeup Monday. Bye guys.